What you gonna do when Underland 76 runs wild on you, brother? Hmm. Let's take a trip to the zoo today, shall we? Haha. <laughs> <coughs> you know, Maria and I were talking last night and the whole subject of humans evolving from apes and monk really? Anyway, the whole subject of us evolving from monkeys and apes and gorillas and chimpanzees and all that stuff came up. And I'm like, no, because if we evolved from apes, You'd think there'd be no apes, right? Because if we all evolved from them. So I don't know. I mean, it could be related to them. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I'm here on the Atlanta Zoo site. It says, gorillas and humans, what do we have in common? Right? Uh, let's see here. Hi, Zoo Atlanta fans. It's Ella here from the Primate Team. And I'd like to tell you guys a little bit about what humans and gorillas have in common. As you might know, we're both primates. And there's only about a 60 or 1.6% difference between a human's and gorilla's DNA. So, what are some of the most interesting commonalities between us? My favorite is our ears. Both humans and gorillas have a very similar outer ear structure. Make sure to check this out the next time you visit the gorillas here at the zoo. Another fascinating similarity is our hands. Both gorillas and humans have opposable thumbs and fingers with fingernails. A gorilla's fingernails grow out just like ours. However, they do not need theirs filed or cut as theirs tend to wear down on, on through normal gorilla wear and tear. Uh, along with those aching physical characteristics, female gorillas also experience pregnancy in a very similar way. A gorilla's gestation period, the time from conception to birth, is about 8.5 months, very close to the 9 months it takes in humans. Once the baby is born, the mother stays in the close contact in very close contact with the newborn for the first few years of its life. Unlike many human children, though, a baby gorilla usually nurses from the mother for up to four years to obtain important nutrients. Just like a human mother will often get help with raising her child, other females in the gorilla mother's group will also act as caretakers of the newborn whenever assistance is needed. All moms can use a babysitter every now and, and then. So what kinds of characteristics lie within that 1.6% difference? Well, remember the opposable thumbs we both have on our hands? Gorillas also have opposable toes. Their feet look like their hands with their big toe in the place of the thumb. Often you can see two-year-old Floyd dragging some hay or wood wool behind him with his toes to play with later. Having opposable digits on all their hands and feet helps them to be great climbers. Both inside and outside the gorilla building, our guys have plenty of props to climb around on and hang from. While gorillas and humans do have the same detention, or what? While gorillas and humans do have the same dentition, 
or teeth structure, gorillas have a much stronger bite force. An adult male gorilla can break open a coconut with his bite. Why can gorillas bite down so much harder than us? It has to do with additional muscle attachments for their jaws. The muscle for a human jaw attaches to our cheekbones, while the muscle of a gorilla's jaw extends all the way up to the top of their head. Before I leave you guys, here's one more fun fact difference between gorillas and us and it has to do with our names. You might know that humans are scientifically known as Homo sapiens, but did you know that because Western lowland gorillas are just so great, scientists decided to call them Gorilla, Gorilla, Gorilla. Guess we just cannot get enough Gorilla. Hmm, that's from Ella E, the primate keeper. Woo! Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, they got a panda cam? That is so cool. Anyway, so yeah, so gorillas and humans have similarities and everything, but it doesn't mean that they're the same. Orangutan. <laughs> but yeah. I, yeah, it just it does not mean that that we evolved from them. I mean sure people might say that, but I don't think that's true. Uh let's see, they're herbivores. They're critically endangered and they come from Western Africa. Western Lowland Gorilla. Zoo Atlanta is currently home to one of the largest populations of gorillas in North America. Western Lowland Gorillas live in troops led by a dominant silverback, several adult females, and their offspring. Hmm. Their scientific name is Gorilla Gorilla Gorilla. Okay. That's new. I never knew that. So, hey, you learn something new every day, and you learn it on my channel, so stay tuned. Subscribe if you're not, and like, and share, and do all that other crazy stuff. Ha ha! I don't know. Anyway, uh, diet is herbivore range, Western Africa, habitat, rainforest. Viewing hints. Western lowland gorillas may be seen year round as long as there as long as the air temperatures are above forty degrees. In cooler temperatures or in inclement weather, the gorillas may choose to spend time in their indoor areas. The western lowland gorilla habitat consists of one point eight acres and is broken up into five separate habitats, one of which is not available to guests. Double moats separate these habitats and groups. Habitats are numbered from right to left, one to five. If looking from the public viewing area, habitat four is behind habitat three and habitat five is out of view. Huh, interesting. I got a gorilla cam. Woo woo. So this is live? Wow. Well, there's nothing happening in the gorilla cam today. But let's be patient and wait for a gorilla to come into view. Woo. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But anyway, yeah, that is cool. I never knew that they had these. So yeah, if you go on to the, the Zoo Atlanta, they've got cameras in all of their all of their little habitats and stuff. So you can go in, you can watch animals and whatever. Or, yeah, it'd be cool.
That would be awesome. Um, but yeah, it would be great if we could see a gorilla in this camera. Um, so, basically put, we are not yeah what am I thinking <laughs> we did not evolve from gorillas so I don't know where people get that from but yeah Hang on. There. Just sharing yesterday's video with a friend of mine. He wanted to, he's the one that asked me uh, about uh, the whole hotel fire thing and everything, so <coughs> I shared it with him in case he didn't see it. But anyway, yeah, so this is the gorilla habitat, but there's no gorillas in there. Would be nice if there was. So anyway, this is live on YouTube. Um, I'm going to put the link to this. Uh, in the description box. Eh. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to put a link to it in the description box. So, I don't know, uh, whenever you're watching this, you can go down there and click that and see if there's a gorilla wh when you're watching. I don't know, but there's no gorilla now. That's my point. That is the point that I am making to you right now. There's no gorilla. So we're wasting our time waiting for a gorilla. Um, let's see here. Hmm. What might you see? The guerrilla troop you see on the cam is Taz's troop, led by adult silverback Taz, born, born July 20th, 1989. Adult females Kudzu, born February 8th, 1994. Sukari, born May 12th, 1998. Lulu, born August 2nd, or 22nd, 1989. And their offspring. Their offspring are Kudzu's daughters, Mary Lee, born May 9th, 2011, Mijardalala, born September 18th, 2016, Sakari's daughter, Annika, born August 30th, 2013, and Lulu's daughter and son, Andy, born March 14th, 2013, and Floyd, born July 24th, 2019. I wonder if he's a barber. You never know. Um, all the gorillas in this troop were born at Zoo Atlanta. You may also occasionally see members of neighbor of a neighboring troop, Willie B. Jr.'s troop, in the far back left of this view. While their space may look as if it's part of the same habitat, these two habitats are distinct from one another and are separated by a moat. This troop includes adult silverback Willie B. Jr., born April 8, 1998, and adult females Cam Cambera, born February 19, 1999, Shalia, born February 9, 2002, and Amari, born October 8, 2010. Willie B. Jr. is the only male offspring of the legendary late Willie B. and was born at Zoo Atlanta. Canberra, Shalia, and Amari were born at another AZA accredited zoos. 
Okay. And you may see the occasional human. Early in the morning or at times when the gorillas are indoors, you may see members of the gorilla care team in the habitat scattering food for foraging or placing in enrichment items for the gorilla's use. The care team never shares the same space with the gorillas, so these activities only take place when the gorillas are not in the habitat. Hmm. Alright, so there's a lot of stuff on this site too. So I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that there's no gorillas. We don't see any gorillas right now, right? This is not a this is not an ideal gorilla viewing time between 7:30 and 8 p.m. So if you're watching earlier or later, you might see a gorilla. Who knows? So I encourage you to Click on that link below the blood sugar stuff and watch the cam yourself to see if there's any, you know, if there's any action, if, the, if you see any gorillas or whatever. Right now, there's nothing. So I don't even know how far away from the ground this is, or how much of the gorillas you can see when there are gorillas. I don't see any movement at all. And I'm looking everywhere, even in the top left, right? Because you said that there's another habitat there. I don't see anything. So I guess we're gonna have to wait or whatever, or yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I'll mark it Gorilla Habitat 3. And you'll know that that's the cam. And you click on that, and you can watch it yourself and see if there's any gorillas. And let me know. Keep this open, right? Click on that, check the camera out, and let me know if you see any gorillas while you're watching. And also, what time is it where you are when you saw them so that I can go and I can look at the camera myself around that time and see if I see them? Because that would be very interesting to see these gorillas on the camera. Yeah, but anyway, I'm going to go because I probably take up a whole bunch of your time and you don't need that. Um, just to let you know, I did lose another tooth. I didn't lose it. It's in the bone bag. It's in the bag of bones. Yeah. Pushed it out like yesterday after after I did my video. It hurt like crazy when I was pushing it out. Oh, excuse me. Right here. Right here. This, this tooth right here. Oh, it's not there anymore. I got one tooth on this side. One tooth left on this side. I got three on this side. And that's it. So I got four teeth left. <laughs> I'm starting to sound like a hillbilly. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't know. Maybe that could be my new persona. There you go. Riff J. Taylor, a hillbilly from the deep south. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that could be a new character of mine. We, we just have to see, won't we? Yahoo! <laughs> All right. I'm going to go. I watch too much Dukes of Hazard. <laughs>